Hi everyone and welcome to this video playlist all about your sign. Each week I'll be revealing three more pairs of your spread, so that's seven weeks of content. Join me each week for the next part. Hi Virgo, thank you for joining me today where I am revealing the last part of your reading. Now we normally do three pairs today because it is the last part of your reading. Here I am giving you your bonus pair. So we have the ninth house which is Sagittarius, the tenth house which is Capricorn, the eleventh house which is Aquarius and the twelfth house which is Pisces. In the house of Sagittarius, which does relate to higher education and is linked to the third house, which is communication, which we have way back up here, I feel there is a new beginning. And that's going to feel as if in that new beginning, we are letting go of something where we will feel a sense of disappointment, a sense of bereavement. So in order to grow and in order to actually take that leap of faith, I feel that there will be an emotional uh, disappointment of having to give up something, uh, to walk away from something, albeit maybe temporarily, while you negotiate the reins of what it is that you are embarking upon. And this is about uh, a time of higher education maybe connecting with some sort of philosophy or religion or some knowledge that is to do with cultures, different lands, different um, communities. Maybe it's a movement in your life that I feel will, will make you kind of go, well, hang on a minute, I'm dwelling on what things used to be like, you know, and I'm feeling a sense of grief of, of kind of uh, giving up the old in exchange for having to go on this new path. You're somebody that is able to say, well, grief will come in waves, disappointment will come in waves, but there are still opportunities, multiple opportunities, for you to actually have better times, something better's coming along, something that isn't quite as disappointing. You know, you've given up the old for a reason, okay? There was something there that was a bit like spilt milk. You know, it's gone. It's a bit like sort of saying, you know, I'm grieving for what it was, you know, and how I remember it when it was tiny, when it was young, when it was in its infancy of what is next for you. And I feel it's exciting. Okay, great leap of faith there. Life renewed. How lovely is that? Queen of Wands sitting there in the house of Capricorn. Now this is the ambitions that you've got in life, okay? So I feel that this is Queen of Wands. Look how confident and attractive this is. This is an aspect of you. But it's also a little bit about your partnerships and the growth that you're going through, okay? Queen of Wands also relates to the fact that people trust you, okay? And I feel that, you know, uh, in your physical self, great attraction here, okay? Worldly wise in lots of different ways, you know? Able to show people, look, you know, the knowledge, the information, things that you have been able to be truthful about in this journey of life of yours, you know? In this journey that you have, people trust you, people like you, people are attracted to you. Why? Because you reveal things to them with a simplicity and an honesty. I feel that you're firm, but I feel that you're kind and I feel that you're knowledgeable. So in your status and reputation, great things are actually happening here. And I feel that this is a result of taking this leap of faith here. You know, things that you have been brave enough to actually move forwards in and aware that you're giving up something. And it can hurt when you give something up and it can feel upsetting, dif disappointing, and possibly even as if we're grieving for that loss. But you are moving forwards and you are learning, you know, the things that matter in life, that knowledge, that information, and you have grown from being a knight into a queen, you know, far more serious, far more capable, and look, so entertaining, so attractive, lovely quality. 
Eleventh house, Aquarius. Fortune Fairy and Ten of Wands, working incredibly hard here with the opportunities that you're being given. Ten of Wands, you know, you've got three tens in this reading. How lovely. Ten is completion. Ten is kind of saying, you know, I'm working really hard. And certainly you are. We have the Ten of Pentacles up here, the Ten of Cups here, and now we are being shown the Ten of Wands. And Ten of Wands is your actions working really hard with the opportunities that come your way. Particularly when it's your aspirations, your wishes, your principles, your ideas. And I feel that that's really important. Other people in um, your uh, group, your neighbourhood, your workplace, you know, your friendship circles, see that you work incredibly hard. They see that you seize an opportunity and that you go for it. And I feel that, you know, what the Twelfth House is actually saying is, you're in a position of always making sure that you try to delegate and share with other people, you know, and it's that sharing and that sort of kindness that I feel comes through so beautifully in the cards here. Um, you know, you are someone that is able to actually show um, the, the glory of what you're doing, which is it has an influence on other people in the House of Pisces, which is it helps them with their restrictions. It helps them where you lead by example. You know, they're tempted to kind of join in with you. And so taking this leap of faith and actually not being disappointed in what you're bringing up and not dwelling on, on um, the grief of giving something up has renewed life for you. You are somebody that is really, really attractive to other people. And so they're tempted. You know, I want to do that. I want to be like that. I want to be that grounded. I want to be that confident. So it's having a really good effect. But I think you're very clear in actually telling them, you can't just wish for it and hope for it. You've got to make it happen. I have, and I've worked really hard. So it's not just luck. And Fortune Fairy is a card of luck, you know. Uh, Wheel of Fortune is what it is in other decks. And what that's actually showing you here is you are investing in the opportunities and working damn hard at making sure that your wishes come true. You're not lucky. You've made it happen. Everyone has opportunities. It's what you do with them that matters. And so there are people that kind of go, oh, you know, well, um, I'm, I'm a bit jealous of that and I would quite like to do that. And how can I just kind of uh, come in here and have a piece of the pie? And you're saying, right, I'll delegate it to you. That's what the Nine of Wands is saying. You know, you're not turning around and doing it for them. That's a heavy load that you carry for yourself. Um, you can show them and you can make it look stunning and you can make it look attractive. And that's obviously what they're wanting. Uh, this is a card of actually sometimes wanting, people wanting to be a little bit envious and a little bit jealous and a little bit sort of needy and greedy and sort of going, well, I want that. And you're good at saying to them, good, here's how you do it. Off you go. That's the journey you need to go on. I've given you the map, up to you now. Perfect. Grounded, full of common sense, not working too hard for other people. That is their journey, that is their timing, that is their responsibility. And so you are saying to them, I am more than happy to actually show you a glimpse of how it could be, but you must do the work. And so you have freed yourself from the difficulties and heartbreaks that you have worked by Sheer willpower, I feel. Willpower shifted the heartaches. And reality checks and being incredibly grounded in who you are, which shows in the past here, has served you really, really well. So you are capable of always going for that expansion that shows in the world card here. And that's because you really care. You're very sincere with yourself and you're very truthful. And in your truth, you are prepared to look at things from a different perspective and you're capable of weighing everything up. You know, the yin and the yang, the positive, the negative. What do we focus on? We focus on going forwards and what do we have to do? We have to make it happen. We have to consolidate, we have to have some really strong foundations and we have to build our house 
and some very firm foundations that will weather the storm of what this life has to bring for us all. Thank you Virgo. I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, please subscribe and I do hope that you enjoyed your full spread.